well, now I have to fight this guy because he, and I don't even like this girl really. So now it's like a, but it's a, it's a weird thing. So I, I just pretended I didn't hear him. I was and like, what? Go? That was it. We just kind of like scuffled and I was like, that was that. And she was like, did you hear what he said? I was like, no. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you have to fight for my honor. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I have, but I've dated girls like that. That chips will. While you're getting your head stomped. Yeah. She's like, I'm going to get a hot dog. Oof. I've had I've had girls that I've dated that would want you to fight for them. Not want they would just ladies. If any ladies listen to the show, all three or four ladies that are listening to the show right now, if just don't get your man into a fight, let him decide. Mm. Don't start talking shit to another dude. You're you're putting him in a situation that maybe he doesn't want to be in, and you're never going to know whether or not he wants to be in that situation. Mm. You're never going to get the honest story, what's going on in his fucking mind right there. Just know, we never want you to start talking shit to a dude in the middle of an altercation, because it's never going to end good. No. Most of the time. Most of the time does not end good, especially if blows start flying. Man, people getting knocked out. Some guy got hurt really bad at a Dodgers game recently. He got knocked out and cracked his head off the ground. That's what people need to understand. People die from that shit. You watch movies and people knock people out and the person's fine. Yeah. You, know, you could get a goddamn murder rap. If you punch someone and they fall, and most people, when you punch them in the face, they go unconscious. They have no idea what happened. They go unconscious. Their head bounces off the ground. They die. It happens all the time. Kevin James, uh, when he was a kid, uh, when he was a bouncer in Long Island, and one of the guys at the bar, I don't think he was working that night, but one of the guys he knew and worked with knocked the guy out. The guy fell, hit his head off a curb, dead. Guy went up to going, going wow. to jail for years. Spent years in jail at some fucking ten dollar an hour job where you're fighting drunks. Yeah, just getting into some dumb fight, which just is thinking it's okay to just tee off on someone's face. But it's also probably pretty rare. <sighs> People falling and hitting their head and dying—that's not rare at all. That's really common. Think about what that is. When's the last you time we understand. saw somebody? I've seen a lot of people get knocked out. So but I'm, I'm the wrong get, guy to ask. But I'm saying dying from hitting their head on a curb. I haven't seen them die, but they could easily. Yeah. If you, I mean, I guarantee you, in a major city like New York, I bet somebody dies falling and hitting their head off the curb every week. When you punch someone and they fall, think about how far that is, right? Think about the amount of force that's involved. Now, think about if you were standing there and someone hit you in the back of the head with something. Now, think about that something was the fucking world. The earth. It doesn't give at all. Concrete doesn't give at all. The only thing that gives is your head. Yeah. Your head has to bounce and your skull fractures and you get internal bleeding. Your brain hemorrhages. It cuts off your ability to move. You might have a stroke. You might have an I mean, it's horrible. Yeah. Getting knocked out and falling and hitting your head off the ground is a terrifying thing. And when you hear the sound of smack of someone's head bouncing off the concrete, it's it's ter it sounds hollow. It sounds like a like a like a melon. It sounds terrible, like a hard melon or something like that. Yeah, i uh, yeah. You see it happen um, where people pass out. There's like videos that are out there. It's like fall over and then they just split their head open. Oh, and it's, it's like the worst, dude. Gruesome. Falling backwards though is something, especially when you get hit. You get fucking clipped on the chin. Your head snaps and your lights shut off and you just fall and bounce. It's even in boxing matches, man. Some of the scariest knockouts when a guy gets KO'd and then his head bounces off the ground. Yeah. In MMA and the UFC, same thing. When guys fall back and their head bounces off the ground, it's like a double knockout. That's why I watched that fight science thing back in the day that they were doing on Spike TV. Um, it was like a show called, I think it was called Fight Science, mm. and they were just sh explaining why ground and pound was so much more brutal than a, a straight up standing punch. Mm. And they were just go, they like you know they showed the three D animation of the head and the fist coming down, and then the head bouncing off the mat, and then the brain bouncing off the front, then bouncing to the back, then the fist comes back up again, and your mm. brain is just being over and over again. And you can't go anywhere. You're That's stuck. It. Oh, it's terrifying. Yeah. I, I got beat up in the sixth grade by an African kid named Baba Tunde. Look at this. Every day, 153 people in the United States die from injuries that include traumatic brain injury. Wait, wait a minute. The, okay. That include traumatic brain injury? So it's an injury that also has traumatic brain injury? Yeah, this is uh, a head injury. I see what they're saying. Yeah, yeah. Those who survive a TBI can face effects that last a few days or the rest of their lives. That's the other thing. Impaired thinking or memory, movement sensation, vision, emotional functioning, personality changes or depression. These issues not only affect individuals, can have lasting effects on families and community. Well, that's, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah man. Don't don't get hit in the head. Don't do it. <laughs> Avoid take, it. Yeah. Take it for somebody that's been hit in the head. Avoid it. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, whenever with my son, because there's just like a lot of, there's a weird thing in New York as well where there's like a lot of tough guys that... It's like this alpha energy where you'll get on the subway and there's another dude who like makes eye contact with you and then you're like weirdly like you're in a weird beef now because you're just looking at a dude in the eyes. Ugh. 
Yeah, and it's Jesus and that and then Christ. it becomes a thing where you have to like look away. Right. But then you're in, you have this internal struggle where you're going like, well, no, I don't. I'm not going to look away because this guy's looking at me. Right. And then, and then I look at my kids right there, and mm-hmm. I'm going like, what is even going on in my head right now? I need to just go to another subway car, just avoid at all costs having to get into a confrontation in front of him because that's one of my biggest fears in the world is not knowing what to do. There's people that live in like Montana that are listening to this right now. They're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like you look each other in the eye and someone wants to fight yeah. for no reason. This is the nature of being penned up. Yeah. That many people all fucking, sm- there's something cool about it. The cool thing we talked about before that people are like, you are exposed, even if you're a poor kid, you're exposed to rich people. They're there. They're normal. They're like It doesn't seem unattainable or unreachable. Yeah. They're all around you. That path is there. Well, there are humans that are they're just like you. You're around them. But if you live in a place where you're never around them, you never get that. So there's benefits to New York, for sure. Culturally, there's benefits. The Just the... Just the energy, the city, and so much creativity, so much going on. Yeah, 